Hey babes, my name is Jessica and this is my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope you enjoy. And if you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below and turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified the next time I post a new video. Did you guys miss me? Because I missed you guys. If you did not notice last week, I didn't upload. And I'll do a video more in depth about that Friday. I've been going through it, guys. But I'm so excited to be here, so I just wanna jump right into the video. This video is great for all my beginner lash artists out there. When I first started lashing, I'm not sure if you guys know my journey, if you guys have been around for a while, but I did start at a lash lounge where we didn't even call the lash lengths by like six millimeters, seven millimeters, we would say like extra, extra small, small, medium, long. Like I didn't learn the actual terminology of lash extensions, like the curl or like the diameter of the lash. We called them thin, thick, thickest. So when I left that place, I was thrown out in the real world and I didn't really know what to like even look for in lashes. So in today's video, I'm going to go over three main points that I feel like you should know. I did get a comment. Let me see if I can find it. So I found the comment. It's by Christina Lopez and she says, so I'm a new lash tech. I'm having a really hard time understanding millimeters, lengths, etc. When I order, I feel overwhelmed by all the different numbers. Can you help myself and other new lash techs who may not understand, please? I love your videos, by the way. Thank you so much, Christina, for commenting. If you guys ever want me to do a dedicated video about anything, leave it in the comments down below. I'll screenshot it, and whenever I do the video, I'll include your comment in there. When I read that, I felt her struggle because again, I didn't know nothing about diameters, about lengths, about curls, and that is exactly what we are gonna go over today. This is a beginner video and the basics that you guys need to know. There's a lot more that goes into depth about lashes, like what is it made out of, PVT. What are they, mink, silk, like the color of the lashes, if it's matte, if it's silky. We're not gonna go over that today. Um, we are just gonna go over those three basic things that you should definitely know when you're on someone's website and ordering lashes. The curl, the diameter, and the length. Whenever you learn to do lash extensions, whoever is your trainer most likely gave you a kit. And I personally feel like all the kits come with mixed trays so what that means is it's going to look sort of like this it is going to say the curl it's going to say the diameter and then it's going to say seven millimeters all the way up to 14 some could even be like six millimeters up to 13 it really depends so this is a mixed tray which i highly suggest all of you guys purchasing if you guys are trying a new lash brand purchase a mixed tray because they come in all the lengths that you most likely need. So it's going to look like this when you open it. On the side, as you can see, oh, it's focusing on my face. On the side, as you can see, it has the, can, can you focus? Okay, so it has the curl, it has the diameter, and it has the length. And this is 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10, 10. 11, 11, 11, 12, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you have all those lengths to create whatever set you want. You can start small and get long and then small again. You can do a cat eye and you'll have all the lengths. It's so funny because if you guys, I don't think I mentioned it or I might have mentioned it in that video where I worked with this dirty, nasty, I keep calling her a lash artist, but she's a lash tech. Okay, don't get it twisted. And she would only order like 14 millimeters and from inner quarter to outer quarter. Now that looks kind of like a broom, does not look cute. You wanna make sure you're adding those short lashes on the inner corners, maybe on the outer corners. And also when you have like different lengths, you could go in and give a different set. And you guys go out there and experiment. But. This is a mixed tray, which I highly recommend everyone purchasing. And again, I'm pretty sure you're very familiar with a mixed tray because like I said, I think all the trainers give mixed trays. This is how a single length tray looks like. It's gonna look exactly the same. It's gonna have your curl, it's gonna have your diameter, 
but the length is only going to be 11 millimeters in here. There's not gonna be all of them. It's not gonna go from six to 15. It's only 11 in here. And the reason why I suggest you purchasing mixed lash trays is so you guys can see the lengths of the lashes. You guys can work with a lot of them and you don't have to go in and purchase one by itself because they are pretty pricey they're about twenty dollars and if you're new into this industry what if you don't like these lashes you don't want to just have a pile of 11 12 13 14 15 you want to make sure you're just purchasing a mixed tray and if you see that you're using a lot of 11s 12s 13s and you really like that lash brand you can stick with them and purchase single lash trays what considers an eyelash only safe for mega volume volume or oh this lash you could only do classic that is going to be thickness my friends i actually looked up on google eyelash extension chart this is the picture that popped up the first one i'll actually have the link down below if you guys just want to click it and save it so you guys can reference back to it but here who is this this is lash stuff they call the thickness of the lash width so I'm going to actually um, screen record so you guys can see what I'm talking about on a actual Lash Brands page. So here I am on a Lashbox LA because I've seen that they carry lashes as thin as 0 0.02 all the way up to 0.18. So if you go all the way on the top to menu and you click on lashes and you click on lash thickness, you can see that they have 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, all the way up to 0 0.018. What does that mean? So let's go back to the picture and you guys can see the width. So I would consider mega volume anywhere from 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, some people even say 0 0.05. I feel like that's pushing it, but you do you lash healthy, okay? Don't go crazy. But the extension, when it's a 0 0.02, 0 0.03, it is teeny, itty, bitty thin. Way thinner than your client's natural lash. That's why you could go in and create mega volume. People go in and do 10D, 20D, that means the extension, instead of it being by itself, you go in and you create a fan. And it's huge because the extension is so thin, you can actually fan it out and place it on your client's natural lash without it weighing down the natural lash because it is so, so thin. So then I would consider volume 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. That's what I would consider volume. You, They're still thinner than your client's natural lash and that's when you could go in and create anywhere from like a 2D all the way up to seven, eight, pushing it, depending on your client's natural lash, the thickness of your client's natural lash. With those, you can also create a volume fan because they're still thinner than your client's natural lash, but they're a little bit thicker than the mega volume lashes. So you do not want to do a 20D with a 0 0.07 lash. And you guys can see it on this chart here, 0 0.05 millimeters compared to 0.25 millimeters. You can see how thin the 0.5 is and 0.25 is super thick. Now, that's when we go into classic lashes. I would consider classic anywhere from 10 millimeters, 12 millimeters, 15 millimeters, and 18 millimeters. That's as thick as I would consider classic lashes. Some people still go in, and as you can see in this chart, chart, people still go in and place really, really thick extensions on there. Going back to the lashes that I carry here in the studio is only these. So it's 0 0.07, 0 0.03, and 0.15. These are the only ones that I use. The curls as well that I only carry here in the studio is L, D, and C. I'm gonna go over the curls as well with you guys, but again, these are the only three curls that I use here in the studio. I have L plus curl in 0 0.3, 0 0.7, and 15. I have D in 0.3, 0 0.7, and 0.15, and then I have C in 0 0.3, 0 0.7, Seven and 0.15 so I can do um, mega volume I can do volume and I could do classic with all these curls so now we're going to talk about curls looking back at the chart the curls are the ones that are at the top so J B C C C D L L plus 
said those are not the only ones that are out in the market there's like an m curl a b curl a y curl this lash brand that i found when i was doing my research i'll have them in the description down below but i've never purchased from them so if something goes wrong do not blame me i was just out there doing my research and i found this lash brand so they have y lashes they have spike lashes, B curl, C curl, C C D, Matt F, J L, multi dimension, <sighs> a lot, and that's the reason why I stick to C, D, and L. As you can see, I'll post two pictures here. So this one right here is a deep curl. You can see when her eye is open, they look like she curled her lashes. This is volume as well, achieved with 0 0.07 lashes. On her inner corner, she most likely has about eight millimeters, and then probably goes to nine, 10, 11, 12. I don't like to skip. I used to skip numbers, now I really don't. I like that gradual look, and I dropped it down as well on the outer corner, the length. Now this client right here, she has a C curl. So as you can see in her inner corners, again, short and then it goes super long, but the curl is way more relaxed. I also have a guest that I've done an L curl on and I don't think I have a good picture of it, but if I find it, I'll post it. The L curl is going to be a little bit straighter and then curled. Those are for my monolid girls. I love those lashes on them because I feel like with a C curl or a D curl, it sometimes hits their actual lid. So the L curl gives that straightness out, but that curl, so it doesn't just look like it's going outwards where it's not poking their lid. That's the reason why I only carry those three lashes, but there's so many out there in the market. I have wanted to try Y lashes just for the fun of it because all the other ones, as you can see here in the picture, the difference is not major from like a B and M curl, things like that. But the Y lash, if you can see, let me zoom it in for you guys. Doesn't that look a little intense? So I would definitely want to try those out. But that's what you should know about the curls. The last thing on the chart is colored lashes and I used to carry brown lashes in the studio. A lot of my guests said I would apply on them which they thought they would like. They preferred black lashes so I just stuck to having black. I do have some pink ones that I got at LashCon. These are by Lost Artistry but some people have really fun colors. I think Lash Anarchist. Um, Lift Bay Lash I think has a lot of colored lashes and it's very fun if you have the clientele for it. I'm going to show you my favorite websites to shop from. This is Borboletta. This is their single length volume trays. So the curl, they have C, 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 D. They consider volume 0.3 all the way up to 0.10. Again, I consider volume five six seven point three is good for mega volume so let's just say point seven um they have lengths from seven millimeters all the way up to 16. so again this is single lash tray so if i click eight my tray is coming with only the length eight like for inner corners outer corners or to give that denser look you can see on the top this says multi-length volume trays oh and this they have an l plus they don't have single trays of L plus. So let's do L plus, the diameters, they only have 0.6 and 0.7, let's see D. Oh, they have more in D, okay. 0.7, as you can see now, you can only choose two options, seven millimeters to 15 millimeters or nine to 12. And whichever one I click, I'm going to get 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 in one single tray. With that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to share this video with a lash friend. All my new lash babes out there need to watch this video and get familiar with lashes. 
I remember back when I opened up my studio and I thought I needed all the curls, all the diameters, when in reality, I only needed like my favorite, which is L plus curl, D curl, C curl, and then the actual diameters was like 0.3 to create those like spikes or even like mega volume, 0.7 for volume, and 0.15 for the classic lashes. With the length, I do suggest you getting almost all of them, ranging from like seven millimeters, so you can do like inner corners, bottom lashes if you wanna offer day, and then all the way from seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I go up to 15 to do like those spikes and do those like wispy looks. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys, I forgot to mention it in the video. When I was doing my research, I found that I level lab carries the longest lengths that I've seen. So I Love Lab is the one that I was telling you guys that they have like the white curl lashes. Again, I've never ordered from them, so don't even get it twisted. But look, they carry all the way from seven millimeters all the way up to 25, guys. You don't understand how long that is. Look, this is an L curl. But look, this is 15 right here. Super duper long. Okay, guys, like long. These I use for, again, like spikes. Now imagine 25 millimeters. I feel like my lashes are a good like 14, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, that is long. Oh my goodness. If you guys have any more questions for me, leave it in the comments down below. The outfit that I am wearing, you can also shop from Top Shelf Beauty. You guys already know this is actually available on um, Chanel's site. It says good lashes, good mood, super cute, all the warm vibes. Also, I do go live on my Instagram on Wednesdays. So if you guys want to catch that and you're seeing this video when it goes live on Tuesdays, go follow me on Instagram at JessicaBXO, the same way it's spelled here. And I will see you guys next time. I totally forgot to do my outro. So if you guys enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down so I can know. Subscribe down below and turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified the next time I post a new video. And until then, bye my loves. You can also subscribe to my channel. If you click on the face that popped up, you're subscribed to my channel. And don't forget to watch two other of my videos before you head out. I love you. Bye.